Good evening. Tonight on front page, we are going to talk about the internet's most talked about fruit, not banana, but nano banana pro. Everyone's quite literally going bananas over it. This new image model from Google is turning a raw idea into a studio grade infographic, rendering clean, readable text in multiple languages, spitting out 2K and even 4K ready visuals, and remix up to 14 images while keeping five people perfectly consistent, all inside Gemini. And if you're a Geo user, here's the fun part, Google and Geo now offer 18 months of free Gemini Pro access, which means you can literally try Nano Banana Pro today, right inside the My Geo app. So over the last 24 hours, your feed has probably seen some version of this. Perfect looking solar infographics, retro Mars travel posters, hyper real ad mockups, and people freaking out that this is the first AI model that finally gets text right. Even Google chief Sundar Pichai, after Gemini 3, that's actually Nano Banana Pro, built on Gemini 3 Pro, wired directly into Google search and already being called the infographic machine of the AI era. He said, it's SOTA for image generation plus editing with more advanced world knowledge, text rendering, precision plus controls. Built on Gemini 3, it's really good at complex infographics, much like how engineers see the world. He also posted on X saying, IYKYK, end quote. For many of you who don't actually know what Sundar meant by that cryptic IYKYK burger post, here's the decode. Because you know what? What's the point of front page if we don't explain the inside jokes of Silicon Valley? So back in 2017, Sundar jokingly said Google would drop everything to fix the burger emoji after a viral debate about where the cheese should go. With Nano Banana Pro now solving spatial reasoning and image precision, the cheese, the layers, everything. This new burger image is Sundar's quiet flex that Google finally nailed the thing AI struggled with for years. So if you know, you know. Courtesy Balaji Srinivasan. Now, coming back to Nano Banana. It started a few months back at Google's fun, fast image model for edits, memes, and figurines. We have, of course, covered this extensively here on Front Page. Please make sure to check it out if you haven't already. We had also reviewed it for you on Debunked. Please make sure to check that out as well. Now, coming back to Google's latest image model, Nano Banana Pro. Nano Banana Pro is the serious version. It's Gemini 3, Gemini 3 Pro image. Same reasoning engine, now pointed at visuals it can pull real-world info from search to ground. So whatever it actually draws, it's built to turn notes, data, recipes, diagrams and reports into images that actually look usable. So instead of draw a cute banana in space, you can actually say this. Create an infographic that explains how solar plus battery storage powers a home with clear labels, graphs, and step-by-step -step flow. Yep, and you get something that looks like it came from an energy company's marketing team, not a glitchy AI art subreddit. So the point is, why are creators losing their minds? Here's what Nano Banana Pro changes for creators, designers, marketeers, and teachers. Infographics and diagrams on tap. Nano Banana Pro is built for process diagrams, educational explainers, recipe cards, slide ready visuals, data visualization mockups, because it's grounded in Google search. It can pull real time info like weather or sports, use factual context for what it draws, not just vibes, turn a written explanation or bullet list into a structured graphic. 
the biggest headache with AI art till now, beautiful poster, horrific text. Nano Banana Pro goes hard on typography. Handles long paragraphs, not just one word slogans. Works across multiple languages. Supports stylized fonts, calligraphy, logos, mockups. Keeps the text clean enough to actually read. So, let's think of user interface mockups with real button labels. Campaign posters with accurate brand taglines. Packaging concepts with multilingual copy. Social posts that don't look like they were made by a drunk typewriter. Is it perfect? No. But it's good enough that people are genuinely worried about. Very official looking, slightly wrong infographics, spreading everywhere. End quote. And that's a real concern. Under the hood, Nano Banana Pro is aimed straight at production quality work which means 2K native with the ability to export at 4K, built to handle complex compositions, can blend up to, let's say, 14 reference images, keeps up to five people consistent across a scene. This matters for storyboards, product shoots, fashion slash editorial looks, film frames, comic panels, and you can upload a rough sketch of a product Add a reference mood board, ask for a cinematic, photorealistic render and keep the same character or object consistent from shot to shot. So what does that mean for brands? Consistent faces, consistent style, consistent identity at AI speed. This isn't just one prompt, one surprise. Nope. Nano Banana Pro gives you director level control. Change camera angles, so basically a top shot, a close up, a point of view, adjust, depth of field, foreground versus background focus, transform lighting, day to night, dramatic uh, geo scora, bokeh, studio, swap, aspect ratios for reels, thumbnails, print or slides. Then we come to localized editing, tweak just one part of the image without breaking the rest. So you can, well, keep this exact character, same pose, same clothes, change the angle to a bird's eye view. Fascinating. Turn it into a 9 by 16 ratio shot for vertical video. Make it nighttime with neon reflections. In other words, as AI developer advocate Ashutosh Srivastava said, that the character consistency is next level, end quote. That's pre whiz storyboarding and ad comps on a weeknight. What's interesting is Google is pushing Nano Banana Pro across the stack. So everyday users and students will be able to use the Gemini app, which means under create images with the thinking model. Free users, small quota, then back to original Nano Banana plus slash pro slash ultra will get higher limits, better access. As far as the professionals, Google Ads leads to for ad creatives and variations. Google Slides and Vids, which is instant slides, storyboards, pitch imagery, flow, which will basically translate to Google's AI filmmaking tool for frame level control developers and enterprises, Gemini API and Google AI. Studio Anti-Gravity, which gives UX layouts and product design mockups. Vertex AI, scale this across campaigns, products or internal tools. So basically, if your workflow is inside Google's world, Nano Banana Pro is about to very quietly move in. And even Varun Mohan, founder of Windsurf, now inside Google DeepMind, chimed in, saying, Nano Banana Pro is a complete reinvention of the design workflow. In his words, and they, they, here they are, we are incrementally rolling out Nano Banana Pro to anti-gravity. It's a step change in image generation and transforms the entire design process with increased quality, end quote. Researcher at Microsoft, Aditya SK, sharing his favorite use case, said that Nano Banana Pro just changed the entire game for ancient manuscript 
OCR, end quote. He said that until now, people had to reply on messy scans, huge data sets and expensive manual annotations. But now you can actually generate high quality synthetic ground truth in ancient styles with almost no effort. Google knows exactly what everyone is scared of, which is this AI generated junk flooding the internet, masquerading as facts. So they are doing three things. First, invisible watermarking with synth ID. Every Nano Banana Pro image gets a hidden digital marker. You can upload an image to the Gemini app and ask, was this generated by Google AI? Visible Gemini mark for most users, which is free and pro tiers get a small visible watermark, the Gemini Sparkle makes it easier to spot AI images at a glance. Clean canvas for pros, which means watermark is removed for ultra subscribers and Google AI Studio. So designers and devs don't have to ship content with logos stamped all over it. But here's actually the catch. Even with watermarks, a lot of people don't read the fine print and people are already worried because get ready for slightly incorrect but incredibly official looking infographics everywhere, end quote. These educational posts will get lazier and more misleading. Another quote. So, if you thought AI selfies were a problem, wait till every half-baked idea becomes a polished diagram with fake authority. Nano Banana Pro is actually both an incredible tool for teachers, designers and researchers and a very massive weapon for misinformation and low effort AI slop. The difference? Who's using it? And whether we still bother to fact check what looks professional. Now comes the front page take. Here it is. Nano Banana Pro is what happens when a search engine, a reasoning model and an image generator all sit in the same room and decide to come for PowerPoint, Photoshop and Canva all at once. This is about teachers turning lesson plans into infographics, overnight startups, mocking up entire brand campaigns in an afternoon, solo creators generating pitch decks, posters and storyboards without a designer and yes, the internet getting flooded with authoritative diagrams that might be wrong by 5% but still go viral. The benchmark for visual content just jumped. The bar for critical thinking has to jump with it because from here on, if it looks well designed, that doesn't mean it's true. It just means someone somewhere has Nano Banana Pro. While everyone is celebrating Nano Banana Pro, here's the real story. Google just overtook Microsoft in market value for the first time since the OpenAI partnership began. And the market is finally rewarding the only company that controls its entire AI stack end to end. While Microsoft depends on OpenAI for models and Nvidia for compute, Google trains Gemini in-house and runs it on custom TPUs, giving it tighter control over cost, efficiency and margins. This is the first major signal that vertical integration from silicon to model is winning the AI infrastructure war. This is the front page by AIM Network. If you want more sharp, ground up coverage of AI tools that are very quietly reshaping your work, your feeds and your future, please like this video, share it with one person who lives inside Google Docs and subscribe, yes, to AIM Network for no more noise, all single, uh, signal text stories.